The Coronavirus Nightmare and Bible Prophecy February 23, 2020 www.youtube.com Doc 2010 A Subjective Editorial Analysis of Current World Events in the Light of Bible Prophecy in my 61 years living on this earth I have not heard of or seen a spread of a disease that has been so devastating and highly contagious as the recent outbreak of coronavirus in Wuhan, China. Questions arose in my mind. Why and how did this terrible disease come into being? How did it spread so rapidly? Is the coronavirus epidemic predicted in the Bible? What are the lessons to be learned from this epidemic? The Lord Jesus Christ gave his disciples warning of future end time signs and events that would happen before he would return to set up his kingdom on this earth. Then Jesus told them, Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be violent earthquakes, and in various places famines and deadly and devastating pestilences, plagues, epidemics. And there will be terrible sights and great signs from heaven. Luke 21:10. 11 Amplified Bible When he, the Lamb, broke open the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature call out, Come! So I looked, and behold, an ashen, pale greenish-gray horse, like a corpse, representing death and pestilence. And its rider's name was Death. And Hades, the realm of the dead, was following with him. They were given authority and power over a fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword and with famine and with plague, pestilence, disease, and by the wild beasts of the earth. Revelation 6, 7, 8 Amplified Bible The Holy Bible is God's word and I believe every word of it is the truth. The Lord Jesus said there would be deadly and devastating pestilences, plagues, epidemics. Webster's Dictionary defines pestilence as a contagious or infectious epidemic disease that is virulent and devastating, especially, bubonic plague. The word plague is defined as a disastrous evil or affliction, calamity. A destructively numerous influx or multiplication of a noxious animal. Infestation. A plague of locusts. An epidemic disease causing a high rate of mortality, pestilence. A sudden unwelcome outbreak. The word epidemic is defined as affecting or tending to affect a disproportionately large number of individuals within a population, community, or region at the same time. A news article I found on the internet written by Rosie Perper January 22, 2020, to 16 AM HTTPS, www.businessinsider.com Coronavirus Who Time Contain Limited South Korea Country See Spike 2020-2 China banned live animal sales in Wuhan, after a food market selling wolves and civet cats was linked to a deadly virus. These types of markets are popular around China and can be breeding grounds for viruses. The Chinese city of Wuhan, the epicenter of a deadly coronavirus outbreak, has banned the trade of live animals at food markets. The Huanan Seafood Market in Wuhan was shuttered on January 1, after it was built. A news article I found on the internet written by Rosie Perper January 22, 2020, to 16 AM HTTPS, www.businessinsider.com Coronavirus Who Time Contain Limited South Korea Country See Spike 2020-2 China banned live animal sales in Wuhan, after a food market selling wolves and civet cats was linked to a deadly virus. These types of markets are popular around China and can be breeding grounds for viruses. The Chinese city of Wuhan, the epicenter of a deadly coronavirus outbreak, has banned the trade of live animals at food markets. The Huanan Seafood Market in Wuhan was shuttered on January 1, after it was believed to be the starting point for the outbreak of 2019 COVID, also known as the Wuhan virus. Before its closure, the market was selling an array of unusual animals for food, including young wolves and civet cats, which experts believe could play a part in the spread of disease.
The Huanan Seafood Market is considered to be a wet market, or a place that traditionally sells dead and live animals along with other produce and goods for consumption. Concerns about poor hygiene at these markets have been raised before, and it is possible that the virus first jumped from animal to human via meat for sale there. The Huanan Seafood Market advertised a variety of live animals, including dogs, peacocks, otters, camels, and koalas, according to the South China Morning Post. The H7N9 and H5N9 bird flu were likely transmitted to humans via direct contact with infected poultry at a live bird market in China, according to WHO. The diseases killed a collective 1,000 people globally. And SARS, or Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, which killed over 700 people on the planet between 2002 and 2003, is also believed to have mutated while spreading through the wet animal markets. Wang Yu Aiden, a professor of immunology at Peking University School of Basic Medical Sciences, told Bloomberg that China's preference for fresh and exotic meat does make China susceptible to the risk of new virus outbreaks through close animal and human contact. The same is true for Ebola, which came about as a result of eating animals from the forest in Africa, he said. I also found an article at the Wall Street Journal by Jeremy Page, updated January 26, 2027, 52 p.m. ET. HTTPS, www.wsj.com articles Virus sparks souls searching over China's wild animal trade 11,580,055,290. Virus sparks souls searching over China's wild animal trade. Beijing faces uncomfortable questions over its failure to clean up wildlife trade and public calls for a permanent ban on wild meat. It didn't take long to identify the suspected source of a deadly coronavirus outbreak in the Chinese city of Wuhan. A cluster of vendors in a downtown market offering carcasses and live specimens of dozens of wild animals, from bamboo rats to ostriches, baby crocodiles and hedgehogs. A wet market in Beijing. China on July 3, 2007. Customers in a Chinese wet market on January 22, 2016. A vendor at a wet market in Nanning, China January 28, 2004. A chicken vendor at a wet market in Kowloon City, China 2004. Ducks on top of chickens at a wet market in Shanghai, China. A worker with a slaughtered pig at a wet market in Manila, Philippines. On August 5, 2015, Wuhan authorities banned the trade of live animals at wet markets in the city on January 22. Researchers figured out that SARS originally came from a population of bats in China's Yunnan province. A greater horseshoe bat, a relative of the Renolophus sinicus species from China that was the source of the SARS virus. In the case of SARS, Humans caught the virus from weasel-like mammals called masked palm civets. A group of researchers from South China Agricultural University found that samples of coronaviruses taken from wild pangolins and those from infected coronavirus patients were 99%. Identical. A man with a pangolin at a World Animal Rescue Center in Kukfuong, outside Hanoi, Vietnam, on September 12, 2016. Cases of the coronavirus are spiking outside of China and the World Health Organization warned the window of opportunity is narrowing to contain it. The world should receive instruction and learn wisdom from God's word found in the Holy Bible. God gave specific instruction and commandments to Israel not to eat certain types of food and meat. Certain types of meat the Bible warns against eating and calls them unclean and detestable. See Book of Leviticus on next slide. If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and wilt do that which is right in his sight, and wilt give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that he alleth thee. Exodus 1526 KJV And the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying to them, Speak to the people of Israel, saying, These are the living things that you may eat among all the animals that are on the earth. Whatever parts the hoof and is cloven-footed and chews the cud, among the animals, you may eat. 
Nevertheless, among those that chew the cud or part the hoof, you shall not eat these. The camel, because it chews the cud but does not part the hoof, is unclean to you. And the rock badger, because it chews the cud but does not part the hoof, is unclean to you. Six and the hare, because it chews the cud but does not part the hoof, is unclean to you. And the pig, because it parts the hoof and is cloven footed but does not chew the cud, is unclean to you. You shall not eat any of their flesh, and you shall not touch their carcasses. They are unclean to you. These you may eat, of all that are in the waters. Everything in the waters that has fins and scales, whether in the seas or in the rivers, you may eat. But anything in the seas or the rivers that does not have fins and scales, of the swarming creatures in the waters and of the living creatures that are in the waters, is detestable to you. You shall regard them as detestable. You shall not eat any of their flesh, and you shall detest their carcasses. Everything in the waters that does not have fins and scales is detestable to you. Leviticus 11, 1-12, KJV. And these you shall detest among the birds. They shall not be eaten. They are detestable. The eagle, the bearded vulture, the black vulture, the kite, the falcon of any kind, every raven of any kind, the ostrich, the nighthawk, the seagull, the hawk of any kind, the little owl, the cormorant, the short-eared owl, the barn owl, the tawny owl, the carrion vulture, the stork, the heron of any kind, the hoopoe, and the bat. All winged insects that go on all fours are detestable to you. Yet among the winged insects that go on all fours you may eat those that have jointed legs above their feet, with which to hop on the ground. Of them you may eat, the locust of any kind, the bald locust of any kind, the cricket of any kind, and the grasshopper of any kind. But all other winged insects that have four feet are detestable to you, and by these you shall become unclean. Whoever touches their carcass shall be unclean until the evening, and whoever carries any part of their carcass shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. Every animal that parts the hoof but is not cloven-footed or does not chew the cud is unclean to you. Everyone who touches them shall be unclean. And all that walk on their paws, among the animals that go on all fours, are unclean to you. Whoever touches their carcass shall be unclean until the evening. And he who carries their carcass shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. They are unclean to you. Leviticus 11 13-28 KJV And these are unclean to you among the swarming things that swarm on the ground. The mole rat, the mouse, the great lizard of any kind, the gecko, the monitor lizard, the lizard, the sand lizard, and the chameleon. These are unclean to you among all that swarm. Whoever touches them when they are dead shall be unclean until the evening. And anything on which any of them falls when they are dead shall be unclean, whether it is an article of wood or a garment or a skin or a sack, any article that is used for any purpose. It must be put into water, and it shall be unclean until the evening. Then it shall be clean. And if any of them falls into any earthenware vessel, all that is in it shall be unclean, and you shall break it. Any food in it that could be eaten, on which water comes, shall be unclean. And all drink that could be drunk from every such vessel shall be unclean. And everything on which any part of their carcass falls shall be unclean. Whether oven or stove, it shall be broken in pieces. They are unclean and shall remain unclean for you. Nevertheless, a spring or a cistern holding water shall be clean, but whoever touches a carcass in them shall be unclean. And if any part of their carcass falls upon any seed grain that is to be sown, it is clean, but if water is put on the seed and any part of their carcass falls on it, it is unclean to you. Leviticus 11 29-38 KJV And if any animal which you may eat dies, whoever touches its carcass shall be unclean until the evening, and whoever eats of its carcass shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. And whoever carries the carcass shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. Every swarming thing that swarms on the ground is detestable. It shall not be eaten. Whatever goes on its belly, and whatever goes on all fours, or whatever has many feet, any swarming thing that swarms on the ground, you shall not eat, for they are detestable.
You shall not make yourselves detestable with any swarming thing that swarms, and you shall not defile yourselves with them, and become unclean through them. For I am the Lord your God. Consecrate yourselves therefore, and be holy, for I am holy. You shall not defile yourselves with any swarming thing that crawls on the ground. For I am the Lord who brought you up out of the land of Egypt to be your God. You shall therefore be holy, for I am holy. This is the law about beast and bird and every living creature that moves through the waters and every creature that swarms on the ground. To make a distinction between the unclean and the clean and between the living creature that may be eaten and the living creature that may not be eaten. Leviticus 1139-47 KJV All scriptures taken from the King James Version KJV of the Bible or the Amplified Bible Version AMP. All photos in this presentation are taken from the website below and are for educational purposes only.